Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In our last lesson, we talked about text paths and how to change the shape of text frames and how to edit our texts. But in today's lesson, we're going to talk about characters, paragraphs, and how to manage them. So let's create a text frame right here. Let's fill it with a couple paragraphs from our language. English and let's have it at three paragraphs right here. Okay, now let's embiggen them. Let's see our first feature. So let's select all by clicking on Control A. Okay, and then let's click right here on font size. You can change it by clicking on these arrows so you can have it bigger or smaller, but you can also just use your keyboard with your arrows so up for bigger and down for smaller let's have it at 20 okay and then if you select all with ctrl a you can also change up the font so right here right now we have arial rounded empty bold but you can also have it in broadway and you can also have it for example in century gothic like this now, if you want to use another font that is not in this list, you can go to a website to download one. For example, you can go to Google Fonts. Google Fonts is a free website like this one. And in this page, you can search fonts if you remember their names. But if you don't know their names and just want to download a random font, you can see that they, uh, they have their name and then they have an example right under them so you can see what you are dealing with. For example, let's download something like PD Sense Narrow right here. Okay, let's go on download family. Now it is downloaded as a zip file, so let's open it right here and then go up PD Sense Narrow. You have both bold and regular. Let's download regular. So it will open this window and you can print it or install it. Let's click on install it right here. Okay, so now we're going to open up Scribus once again to search for PT Sans Narrow. Okay, so let's go back here and let's look for PT Sans Narrow right here. So you can select all of this and then look for PT Sans Narrow right here. And as you can see, we just used a font that we just downloaded and installed on our computer. Another thing that you can modify is the line spacing. So as of now it is fixed, but you can change it by using these arrows or the arrows on your keyboard. So you can have it smaller or bigger. So and begin the space between the lines. Then you can also have an automatic line spacing like this one. The one that is suggested by the computer or you can go on a line to baseline grid this of course has more sense once you make the baseline grid visible so you show it as you can see this baseline grid is made up of these horizontal lines and by having the text aligned to the baseline grid as a line spacing mode, as you can see that every single line is on one line of the baseline grid. Then let's see some color and effects. So let's click here. We are in the text properties window, which you can add here from windows and then content properties right here. So let's see, for example, this first button is underline text. So if you select all the text above, you can then have it all underlined like this. But you can also have only the single words aligned. So you have all the words aligned, but not the space in between them. And then let's look, for example, at another feature. So let's type something like hello for. Then let's select the for right here. With this button, you can have it as a subscript. So you can have it down there, or you can have it as a superscript, so up there. Then you can also have a selected line all in caps, 
so all caps or you can have it in small caps so by small caps we intend all caps but the one characters that were already caps are going to be bigger caps than the other one that are just turned into caps as you can see here munich was and vienna were both caps before but one you once you select on a small caps you have all caps so these ones that already were caps are going to be bigger caps than the new ones then you can strike out everything so you have it crossed right here and then for example you can go here and you can change the color of this number so go here and select another color for example magenta and then if you click on this button you'll create an outline so if you zoom in on this one you'll see that this number has a black outline on it but if you delete the outline you'll see that normally they do not have an a visible outline and you can also have it with a shadow so let's click on it and you have a shadow behind your text you can manage both these features by pressing on the button so for example you can modify the width of the line so right here as you can see we we have this black line that we just unbigin and previously it was like this and you can also change the shadow by pressing on it so you can change the x offset and the y offset so its position for example you can have it in the bottom right corner instead of the previous position then you can also highlight something by going on this so the background color of the selected text you can have it blue for example like this and you can also change the saturation of the color background so you can have it really low and for example you will have a less saturated blue now let's go and talk about paragraphs so this sample text has three paragraphs so this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one as you can see by paragraph we mean a piece of text that is in another line and there's a space between this line and this other one so you do not have i read that every known superstition right here but you have it in the next paragraph now you can manage the paragraph by going on view and on text frames and then show control characters so this character right here this piece shows you the presence of paragraphs so this is one paragraph this is another paragraph this is a third paragraph so we have three now let's have a space between all these paragraphs so that they are more easily distinguished right here and we can go on the paragraph fx and we can go and change for example the first line offset so by first line offset we mean the space between this first line and the red top line of the text grid so let's select all and we can go to font ascent so you have a closer first line to the top red line you can also have maximum ascent so this is the closest that you can get to the red line you can also have a line spacing so you will create recreate the distance between the lines in between the first line and the top line of the text frame and you can also have the baseline grid as we previously saw with the align to baseline grid line spacing mode then you can also go and change the columns in the text frame so for example you can have multiple columns you can fix the gap you can fix the distance from the top of the frame from the bottom of the frame, from the left of the frame, from the right of the frame. Then you can also have paragraph FX. So for example, let's select this paragraph. As of now, you have no paragraph effect active. You can activate drop caps. So as you can see, you have the first character, for example, this three that is bigger than the others. You can choose how big you want it. So you it can be two lines big or three lines big or four lines big then you can also modify the parameters on the rest of the paragraph so 
you can have an auto indent like this so there is an indent that starts from the number so you don't have any lines under the number or you can create your own offset like this or like that so creating your distance from the drop caps then you can also have a bulleted list like this so this is your first point on your bulleted list you can also choose other symbols to create this bulleted list you have a whole table and you can take all sorts of symbols to do your list for example this and also you can create your own indent like we saw earlier with the drop caps and then you can also create a numbered list so a list like this you can have more levels and you can decide which suffix to use for example right now you have a dot right here but you can change it you can also add a prefix you can have numbers or indian numbers or roman numbers or arabic letters and then of course you have no paragraph fx then you can also change the optical margins so you can have none or you can have some of both sides so for example if we have a text aligned and justified right here you can have it on both sides so you can see that this change you can have it on the left one only so you will have more space right here or on the right one only so no more space here but only on this side and you can also reset it as such and right here you can align the text on the left or on the center you can have it on the right and you can have it justified right here or you can have it first justified so the justified that will have the last line that will last throughout the whole line and then ending on the opposite side of the text frame right here so you will see that the space in between the words is going to be more and you can also change the hyphenation as we saw in other videos you can also go on fun settings you can change the offset to baseline characters so for example let's select this one this one word right here and then go and change the offset so once you go and grow you will see that this word is going to be higher than the other words in the line as such and you can also change the scaling width of the characters you can have them larger like this or thinner and you can have them taller like this you can also have them shorter and then you can all also change the manual tracking so the distance between the characters then you can change the word tracking so you can manage the minimal width of space between words so you can have it smaller and then you can also manage the glyph extension so the extension of each glyph in the line so you can have it smaller or you can have it bigger so you'll see that the space between the single glyph and the line and the end of the text frame is going to change and you also have path text properties which we saw in our previous video and the font features which we just saw so let's revise what we learned today we learned about fonts and font sizes and line spacing we talked about aligning the text we talked about colors and effects we learned about the first line offset and then columns and text distances we talked about optical margins advanced settings like word tracking or the offset to the baseline of characters or the scaling width of characters or the scaling height of characters and then we learn how to download and install a font to use it right here on scribbles for our text frame that's all for today you guys remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and remember to subscribe to our channel if you want to stay updated on our next video on this video course about scribbles